Coming up on the DMT One to One Show episode 62 on the 29th of May 2014, I feature on the Subpack, a hardware device designed to bring more bass into your life. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT One to One Show and it's a real pleasure today to have James Williams and uh, Steve Snooks uh, from Subpack. So hi guys and thanks for joining me. How's it going? Good, very good. Hi, Andrea. Thank you for having us. Awesome. So um, let's talk about Subpack. I had a, a, d a brief demo a few weeks ago uh, at the Rolly offices, actually, and uh, uh, I, I loved it. And so I just wanted to hear a bit more about the company. And so first of all, how did how did it all start out and uh, uh, what was the idea behind it? So uh, our parent company, Studio Feed, started out in Toronto, uh, in Canada. Uh, our CEO, John Lexiu, um, Feel, you know, he felt the need to create something that would enhance the listening experience. And so we've been working with a, uh, a module synth engineer called Andrew Kilpatrick, um, who has put together this marvelous piece of equipment, the Subpack, which we feel adds the physical element to the listening experience that has been missing for a very long time. And so, how how did they uh, how do you go about productizing it? Of course, it's a it's a very innovative concept, uh, but of course, uh, quite an unexplored category. So, uh, what does the subpack actually consist of today? Um, well, the subpack itself um, it has transducers which deliver. Um, feeling of subs so it focuses upon the the low end of whatever you feed into it it's essentially a monitoring device um, and so whatever you feed into it via the digital line in um, you will feel as if you know you were in a club or a, a, in a production context you would feel it um, as if you had you know a full a full sub set um, it allows you to uh, produce like you are producing for a club and you you know you don't require so many of these expensive subs which you know can harm your hearing and annoy your neighbors and basically we're, we're making a lot easier for producers to you know produce yeah yeah basically. and fr from that standpoint sort of uh, how how are you seeing the benefits uh, of the sub pack for producers um well as a producer myself I, it's completely changed the way that i i make music um and that i experience music um Obviously, when it comes to production, you know, you've, you've got quite a lot of things to think about, whether it's the acoustics in the studio, um, you know, near field monitors, you know, and I think w when it comes to low frequencies, anyone out there that's a producer um, or a DJ, I mean, it's pretty aware that you, c you can have really bad issues when it comes to bass. Bass is a really problem area for certain people, you know, um, and especially nowadays, it's so easy to make music on the fly. You know, you've got DJs and producers traveling about, it just takes all of those issues and it just puts you straight into that sort of place where it is like being at a, a club, you know, it is, it is like standing next to a sound system. Yeah. Um, and one of the main advantages for me really is being able to produce for longer without fatigue and also, you know, without annoying, you know, like James said, neighbours, you know, colleagues, relatives or whatever. But generally being able to feel the low frequencies in the same context as being in a club you know, which generally a lot of dance music, a lot of reggae, you know, a lot of bass heavy music, which is quite popular nowadays, that's how you have to experience it, yeah. you know, and there isn't anything like this at the moment. So that's kind of a long answer, but it's completely changed my life, yeah. completely. And so from a producer's point of view, we heard a uh, producer's point of view, and from a consumer point of view, do you also have a, another version of this that could be used by, by normal people? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we, we, we're actually finding new applications for the subpack constantly. As, as it's just a line in, you can plug it into anything. You know, we, we're watching movies with it, we play games with it. It's, it's The opportunities really are, you know, almost endless. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, uh, with all these different applications, we're reaching out to different parts of the community in different parts of the consumer market to appeal to a wide range of people yeah. um, and uh, you know honestly just the listening experience once you experience it with the subpack obviously we're slightly biased but um, you miss it when it's not there it's that physical experience we feel that's just been missing from music yeah. um, and this this really does feel that gap it's like as one of our one of our supporters Marla put it it's like you know experiencing 3d frequencies it's you know it, it's a tangible feeling yeah um, and you know it's 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 just fantastic. Awesome. Well, uh, I'm gonna uh, jump on it right now and uh, give it a bit of a demo. Actually, we should actually show uh, both versions on camera uh, briefly. Yeah, uh. the oh, sorry. Yeah. is a wearable model. Um, again, slight, slightly smaller profile, but um, ideally intended for you know silent discos, live bass players. Um, you know, people that need to be on the move. Um, so that, that's that's the main main idea behind that and the S1 is more for the studio. It's kind of used as a backrest. We have transducers all over with this special foam um, 
there's an algorithm that runs the actual program itself. Um, on the side here, we have um, the control panel where we have our intensity bar. So you can know uh, completely take out the bass and and just just listen uh, or turn it up to to max basically. Yes. Um, and and the max is is it's it's it's, it's it intense. Can get quite <laughs> intense, you know. And, and we're really catering for everyone here, you know. And we we often find that you know different genres of music require different intensities and things like that so you can really you know you can you can mess with it to, 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 to give it you know the best possible feeling for different types of music sure right. so let's let's jump on it and see how see how it works okay so we are demoing the s1 here yes um, we're putting on a little plastic man uh, Richie Horton is, is a very big supporter of ours um, and uh, yeah we really feel that the, the, this kind of music you know techno and minimal and things like that really do shine on the pack so yeah. uh, let's, let's see what you think Whoa. Let's have a look at the intensity here. I think we're pretty high right now. It's yeah, because like the frequency range is, 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 is quite broad. So we go yeah. from 5 on the low end to 130 on the high end. Um, and so, you know, uh, it, it really allows a track to breathe, you know, with the subs. And uh, it's funny. It's funny because, like, it does... It's one of those things that you don't really miss it if it's not there. But once you take it away... Uh, if I'm taking it away now and I'm just listening through the headphones, I do really feel like something is missing in Quite. the music. Yeah, and, that, and that's why and so we uh, that's why we have the M1, so you literally never have to take it off. Yes, <laughs> that'd be that, that, yeah, that's kind of the the future for all of us, right? But uh, and it does feel also like if I take it away, it feels less loud, mm -hmm. in a sense. So. So we find with the uh, with the sub pack you can actually turn up the bass and turn that allows you to then in turn put the volume down a little bit to protect your hearing um, and and having the bass a little higher the subs a little higher actually gives your body the appearance of a higher volume yeah so you can actually you know really protect your hearing while still getting that full experience of the music yeah and so how how are you marketing the sub pack right now well, wh wh where are you st selling it and uh, how really are you getting the word out. Currently, uh, we are we are mainly selling our, uh, through our website, which is www.thesubpack.com. Um, we are also we're working out distribution in, in various countries. You know, watch this space. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, mainly selling off our website. Uh, we have um, a lot of supporters. You can you know follow us on Twitter at uh, uh, the underscore subpack. Um, oh, sorry, sub underscore pack yeah <laughs> and um <laughs> that's and always confusing with the underscores yeah, i know I mean, how it is <laughs> and, and, and so yeah we, with, with our twitter one thing you know that we really wanted to make sure is that people know that we're not paying anyone you yeah. know a lot of people on, go on twitter and say you know this is incredible of course we, we really like this we love the experience and and basically what we do we demo it for people yeah. and people really seem to like it and that's it's been working quite well for us where you know we've, we've been really trying to get it out to as many people as possible and we just say to them we could talk about it all day but just try it yeah you know you yeah. know and and there's a lot of, you know it can be initially sometimes a little skepticism with it but we really find that you know if you if you try it out you'll you'll love it uh, looking at uh, the pricing of course a lot of people that are listening to the show today are going to want to know how much this is so are we looking at sort of high price mid-range where are we at okay currently we have the s1 available and that's 300 us dollars um, we've got the obviously the M1 wearable. That's three fifty. Um, in my opinion, you know, like in the that's actually not bad at all. That's pretty right. good. I mean, there's people out there that pay more than that for a pair of headphones. Exactly. Um, Most headphones that our studio sort of produce pr production are around that or more. Indeed. So yeah. and obviously, you know, when you're choosing a, a pair of monitors or headphones, there's quite a lot of other products. When it comes to something like this, th these are the only products that are available. Um, so it, you know it's 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 a game changer and it's you can't lose, man. You yeah. know there is no other product like this at the moment, and yeah, it's especially cool. at that price. It's, and it's kind of it's kind of funny because like on the one side, it's awesome to be in this new category. At the same time, if you're creating a new category, you have to really convince people that this of course, is cool. Of course. And so at the sa and so really like getting it in the hands of I think as many people as possible is going to be the name of the game here because of course, uh, man. Uh, of course. like I tried it out before trying it out. I was thinking, well. You know, do people really need this? But like trying it out, it actually does make a big difference. So. I mean, the thing is, with something like this, it's it's very hard to describe. Yeah, it's very hard to put across to someone without actually getting someone to sit down and try it. You know, and you know, bass music is th there's a massive heritage. You know, and obviously, dance music is so popular nowadays. A lot of people tend to forget 
you know yep. people like me when we produce music we put low frequencies in music and listening on you know laptop speakers and that it doesn't cut it it doesn't yeah cut it. <laughs> and often the dj is the first time they or producers the first time they listen to those tracks on a massive sound system is when they are played in a club yeah, and so indeed i mean <laughs> i'm the same whether it's music that i'm producing or music that i'm playing out you never really know until you until you play something out but now with something like this it, it gives you a complete idea of what you're going to be doing. And finally, just to, to geek out on, on the frequency range spectrum. So uh, what does this do and how does that f filter into like a headphone setup uh, as far as sort of becoming a whole spectrum between the headphones and the sub pack? In, in terms of frequency response, these tactile transducers that we've got in this unit, they go down to, to like five hertz. Um, yeah. You're never really going to need that, obviously. But again, these, these are the sort of frequencies that w when I produce, you know, very sub-heavy music, we're, we're talking maybe 30, mid-30 hertz, things like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I produce with this, I, I do use headphones, but I do use monitors as well. You yeah. know, there, there's ways of, of setting this up. Um, and again, like any piece of kit, any pair of monitors or headphones, you can learn it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, and, and after, I've, I've been using it now for maybe, how long have I been with Subpack? Over a year. Over a year now. Um, I, I can't live without this piece of kit. I really can't. Um, cool. And obviously, you know, in most scenarios, you're not going to be, you're not going to be playing on a sound system that can produce that low. Yeah. But the fact that the possibilities are there, you know, you, you can monitor these things. And in the past, people would have no idea what's going on with their bottom end, you know. Yeah. And I've used this in post-production as well. If there's any issues, any wind noise, and things that you don't normally probably pick up on your headphones. You can pick up on that, and like James says, you know, there's there's so many different uses for this, um, and so much potential that we we haven't explored yet. Awesome. Well, guys, it was a real pleasure. Thank Thanks so much, much for your time. And again, what's the website to go on? It's thesubpack.com. Perfect. Thank you. If you enjoyed watching or listening to the show and would like to find more, head on to digitalmusictrends.com.